In the world of complex numbers, i raised to 0 equals to 1. This indicates the starting point of rotation. i raised to 1 indicates a rotation by 90 degrees equals to i. i raised to 2 indicates a rotation by 180 degrees. i raised to 3 indicates a rotation by 270 degrees. And i raised to 4 indicates a full rotation of 360 degrees. Now don't you think that i raised to any multiple of 4 that is i raised to 8, i raised to 12, i raised to 16 they will all come back as a full circle as multiples of 360 degree back to square 1 and that is why i raised to 8, i raised to 12, i raised to 16, i raised to even 400 that is i raised to any multiple of 4 will be equals to 1. Now here's the fun part. The fun part is that i raised to any multiple of uh, any even number which is not a multiple of 4. So those even numbers which are not multiples of 4 which is every alternate even number if you start from 2 for example uh, and leave 4 take 6 then you can uh, take 14 leave 16 take 18 so i raise to all these even numbers which are not multiples of 4 that is every even number if you start from 2 leave 4 take 6 leave 8 so i raise to 6 i raise to 10 they all will be equals to minus 1 this is even applicable for extremely big numbers like uh, for example 40,000 and 2 40,000 will be a multiple of 4 so it will be 1 so but 40,000 and 2 it will be minus 1 then 80,000 will be a multiple of 4 so i raised to 80,000 will be equals to 1 but i raised to 80,000 and 2 will be equals to minus 1 now coming to the final slide it is going to be fun i raised to any multiple of 4 will be equals to 1 as you see on the rightmost corner now just look at the top i raised to any multiple of 4 plus 1 that is i raised to 5 that is 4 plus 1 it will be equals to 1 uh, but this will be applicable to any multiple of 4 plus 1 that is 16 plus 1 comes to my mind so i raised to 17 will also be equals to i i raised to 400 will be equals to 1 but i raised to 401 will be equals to i so i raised to any multiple of 4 plus 1 will be equals to i so now if you can look at the bottom i raised to any multiple of 4 minus 1 for example i raised to 3 will be equals to minus i i raised to 8 minus 1 8 is a multiple of 4 so 8 minus 1 7 will be equals to minus i and this will be applicable for even big numbers for example i raised to 400 minus 1 that is i raised to 399 will be equals to minus i even for extremely large numbers the same thing will be applicable so all in all you have got this entire picture of how the complex plane works there's another way to understand complex numbers so you can just look at this image whenever one force or one influence or one object gets split into two due to angle or rotation or something else some other reason complex numbers come into the picture so once again whenever one full thing or force gets split into two complex numbers come into the picture you can look at another example imagine an ant walking to and fro it is allowed to walk only to and fro on the surface of a rope so now its velocity will be the plus 5 or minus 5 but if the same ant is made to walk on the surface of a spear its velocity gets split into two components 
uh, there will be a horizontal component which is the real part represented by minus 3 there will be a vertical component represented by 4i the net magnitude will still be 5 all you have to do to calculate the net magnitude is take the square root of 3 square plus 4 square into a bracket so that is the square root of the real of the square of the real part plus the square of the imaginary part so what you get is square root of 3 square plus 4 square that is square root of 9 plus 16 equals to 5 the next image this GIF explains the applications of complex numbers in various fields it is used to denote rotation as you can see in the leftmost and the topmost image it is used to donate uh, denote whenever a force gets split into two or more components as you can see in the next image to the right when a car when a car moves towards forward or backwards its velocity can be explained as plus 5 and minus 5 but whenever it moves upwards now its velocity changes due to the angle involved there is now a horizontal component and a vertical component the angle at which it is sloping can be found out by taking the tan inverse of 4 divided by 3 complex conjugates uh, as you see uh, just represent vertically opposite mirror images of each other 3 plus 4, four i means moving in a positive angle of tan inverse of 4 divided by 3 i think it's about 59 51 degrees celsius something like that and uh, 3 minus 4 i means moving downwards uh, so that is all whatever you're seeing here is an excerpt from three ebooks that uh, i have authored the names of these books are visualizing math 1 visualizing math 2 and quantum leaps the link is given in the description thank you